Well, Matty, and to who it can may concern, um, I'm making this video to prove that diesel engines, even new ones, can run on straight veggie oil. Now here's my veggie oil from Aldi or Little. This drum here is ordinary mineral diesel, and I'm now going to show you me putting it in my car. Come on, go inside, move back, 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 back off, come on, back off. Get that freaking camera out of your face. Right, that's one of 26. of 26 3 of 26 4 of 26 Right, bit of time lapse photography there, we didn't really want you to think you'd want to watch us putting a full 26 bottles in a can. Right, that's mainly to some video. Just a minute, I need me full of... Right, this is mineral diesel in here. I'm topping up nine litres of veggie oil with about two and a half to three litres of mineral diesel. There you go, Matty. Three lots, right up to the gunnels. And I will now show you the empty bottles. There's the empty bottles of the oil I've put in. There's the can. Now, that's my motor will tolerate 35 litres of veggie oil. And I would think that most modern cars would do and so what I'm saying is, let's start putting veg oil in as motors and saving money. This is well, here we go. Proof of the pudding is in the eating as they say. As you can hear, the engine started first time. And if you can hear, she's ticking over as sweet as a nut. And by putting 30% veggie oil into my tank, I'm getting an extra 5 to 10 mile an hour, uh, 10 mile to the gallon. The engine's running quieter, cooler, all round benefit for everybody. There you go, Matty. The green pastures of Ireland. 
let's keep it that way let's plant loads of rapeseed turn it into oil and then put it in his cars <laughs>